Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this makeup look right here. It is a full face almost of first impressions. I am using all the stuff that I bought during the Sephora VIV sale. If you guys want to see my haul, it's the video before this. I will link it down below. And yeah, um, that's what I used to come up with this look. I was also sent some free goodies from Influencer. They sent me uh, a benefit box of Benefaves, which is mo mainly their most popular products. So I'm also going to be including these in today's video. Thank you so much, Influencer, for sending me these. I am very, very grateful. And I'm just going to show you how I use them what I like, what I don't like. And yeah, if you guys wanna see, checking for lipstick, we're good. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look like right here, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the eyes today. I've already primed my lids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden. And now I'm gonna go into this palette. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy palette. And this is what I'm sure you guys have seen it around YouTube, but you guys, it actually, actually smells so nice. Like I could eat this. Not, no joke, you guys, I could eat this. I think I'm gonna go into Peach Cobbler first. So this beautiful peachy color, it'll be a really beautiful transition color. And that's what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna use it as a transition color. So I'm just gonna go like this, put it into the crease. It is really, really pigmented. I'm also like kind of taking it in right here on my inner lid. And then when I take it around, I'm also pulling it in here. And then when you don't have a lot on your brush, you can start to pull it out, wing it out. Okay, now I'm going to go into Just Ripe. It's a really pretty purpley color. And I'm taking a skinnier brush this time. This is a MAC 221. And what I'm doing with this is putting it like that other color we put kind of above the crease and blend it. This one, we're kind of directing it just into the crease, just to deepen it up a little bit more and have a little more depth. Oh, I'm so excited. If you guys watched my Sephora haul, you would have seen me show this Pat McGrath Mothership 3 palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. It is beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is take a MAC 217 and I'm going to go into, this thing is heavy as well, I'm going to go into this brown color. So what I'm going to do with this is add it to my outer corner. So I'm just tapping that on. Once you kind of get it in place, you can kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle in the spot to kind of blend it out. That takes absolutely no effort to blend. It's like witch, witch magic. No, what's it called? Witchcraft. <laughs> witch magic, oh my God, I'm so sad. I'm taking that same brown color and I am going to put that in the inner part of my eye. And just once I place it, I'm just gonna place my brush there and just do slight back and forth motions like this to blend it out. Okay, now for the part left in the center. There's so many choices, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna do this purple color. I think I'm just gonna try it with my finger first. Whoo, yeah. I'm getting way too excited. Okay, so I'm going to leave the eyes and work on the face for a little bit. I'm trying out this new primer. It is the Guerlain 
Or Radiance Primer. This is the one that has 24 karat gold in it, I guess. And it's supposed to be really good for um, really tightening the skin. And it's supposed to really help with fine lines. It's supposed to tighten your pores. Ooh, that is cool. It's a really nice gel consistency. It feels really cooling and it's immediately getting tacky on the skin. Okay, so the this foundation isn't new, but it is new to me. I've never tried it before. It's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I always hear Makeup by Tiffany D. Like, she loves this thing. And I've seen other couple of people really liking it too. I usually stay away from matte finishes just because I am so dry that I feel like they look really reptile-like on my skin. But I loved the Fenty one, so I'm willing to try out another one just to see how I like it. Um, this color does look like it's going to be a little light on me. I'm going to try it on this half of my face first and then see what the color blends out as. Actually, that looks like, that looks pretty damn good. I'm just going to finish off my face and then I will be back. Okay, so for my eyebrows today, I'm going to use something from the Benefaves, no, Benefit Benefaves box um, sent to me by influencer so this is the Cabrow I have the shade 5 and this is just like a pomade kind of like the Anastasia dip brow and I think that this color is gonna be good for me this is the darkest color in warm and then there's another dark color that's cool so I'm hoping that this one will work for me and I really like the concept of you could, you know, like turn this around, stick it in, and then you have a nice brush. So what I do is flip all the hairs up. So I'm going to try to use the brush that comes with it. So what I do when I'm doing my brows is I lightly make a line down the bottom. So I go from the front, very lightly from the front, very light strokes. This is really pigmented. I make that line all the way down to give me that base. Then I comb my hairs back down like that and then I fill in the sparse areas. So the sparse areas for me are right at this tail right here. This is actually a pretty good color for me. It's a little dark. And then when I get to the front, I take the angle, the bottom angle of the brush and just go upwards like this to do little hair strokes at the front. You could see that's a really dark brow. I do not like that. So I really, um, after I do it, I go in with a spoolie and I really spread that product out. So I do like the pomade. It is very nice. The brush is a little bit difficult to work with. I don't really like the brush, but I do like the effect it gives on the brows. It's a little bit bold for me than what I usually do, but that could easily be toned down by just going with through with it with a spoolie. So this product is really nice. There is a little bit of a learning curve to it just because it's very, very pigmented. A little tiny bit of it definitely goes a very long way. Um, I just don't like the brush. I would rather use my other eyebrow brush because I feel like I get a more natural look. This is definitely more bold than I'm used to. I just think the color might be a little bit dark. But other than that, um, I really, really like it. Okay, so the next product from the Benefit box is an all-time favorite of mine. This is the Hula Bronzer. This thing is a classic. It's literally a cult favorite. Everyone loves it. I love this because it is the perfect color to bronze, but it's also the perfect color to contour with. So if you don't want two different products all the time, this is a really, really good option. 
it is all matte it doesn't have any shimmer in it so just keep that in mind but it is just it's beautiful it's beautiful on anybody that i've tried it on before i'm just taking this on this charlotte tilbury brush and bronzing z cheeks okay so i also got something for my birthday gift this is this year it was a tart gift it came with a uh, lip paint and a blush and this is actually the perfect blush it's a nude color it's perfect for this look just gonna take that along my cheekbones and a little bit right at the cheek and now the moment we have all been waiting for <laughs> excited about this hourglass uh, palette this is the app no this is the ambient metallic strobe lighting palette it is beautiful I showed it in my haul this is what it looks like um, I think what I'm gonna do today is mix these two I just feel like that might be a little bit dark and I am gonna highlight you guys look at that so beautiful. So I'm also going to take um, those two colors that I used on my face and put them right in the tear duct area or inner corner. So I'm taking this uh, Marc Jacobs gel eyeliner in the black color and I'm filling in my waterline but I'm also taking that quite far out into the lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smudger brush. This is completely clean. And I'm going to smudge out that liner. Okay, now taking a pencil brush, I am going to go into this color again that we used in our transition. This one is Peach Cobbler. This is, I think this is my favorite color in the palette. And I'm going to take that below that black line we just made. This will help soften that up. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that MAC 221 and the color Peach Tea. And I'm gonna further blow out this lash line. Okay, you guys, so the shittiest thing just happened. My eyelash curler broke, which sucks because I wanted to try out a new mascara in the Benefit box. They sent the their real mascara, and I wanted to try it out, but I'll try it out without my lashes curled, but just keep that in mind when you guys see it because since they're not curled, they'll probably stand up completely straight. Just know that that's not the mascara's fault. Um, I've heard really amazing things about this mascara, that it's very volumizing, it's very thickening, that it doesn't clump up easily. Um, I also heard that it's very hard to take off, so I'm hoping that's not true. But let's try it out i've always wanted to try this i just i don't know why i never have this is what it looks like and that is the wand it's just like a regular wand nothing too crazy it does grab at every hair very nicely this actually is very lengthening do you guys see that like my lashes are like whoop. what was that noise i just made I thought that it would make my lashes sat, stand up straight, but it's not doing that. Oh, uh, why? It almost like it almost looks like I have fake lashes on. It's really beautiful. Okay, so the mascara looks a little bit spidery, but remember that's because my lashes aren't curled. But other than that, it legit looks like I'm wearing fake eyelashes. Like, the, the lashes are really bam bam. It's definitely lengthening. It's definitely volumizing. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like with curled lashes because so far I really like it. Okay, so I got three lippies from the sale. We have this one from Bite Beauty, which is a mauve color. We have this stain from YSL. And then we have that... Pat McGrath one that I wore in my last video, the really bright fuchsia pink. So I'm not going to wear that today 
just have to decide between these two. So this is the color swatch. The top one is the YSL Stain Lip Stain. And the bottom one is the Bite Beauty Liquefied Lipstick in Movember. Let's try the Bite Beauty one on first. Okay, so I think I'm just going to stick with the Bite Beauty Lippy because I feel like I use these dark vampy colors a lot on my channel. So I thought I would tone it down a little bit, for me at least, and just stick with this one. It's a really pretty mauve color. And yeah, you guys, here's the final look using all my new stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I want to see every single one of you at the next video. Bye guys!